on. Hold the phone. No. 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 This. There's a. Mm. Hey guys, and welcome to GT Not Live, where the best part of waking up is running through an animatronic pizzeria. Uh, because as we record this right now, this is the first thing that I'm doing this morning, so good morning to me, good morning to you, Matt. Good morning. I, I bet you were so eager to hop back into this after the cliffhanger we ended on last time. Yeah. Right? Like, yeah. We're, we're getting to endings now. I, yeah, no, I feel great. You, you, do you feel great? Mm -hmm. Is it? Is this like your morning cup of coffee? Does this invigorate you? Well, I had mine. Okay. My morning cup of coffee. Oh, so this, so this is, is like a cup second cup. Oh, second dose. <laughs> yeah. So you're gonna be like. I'm about to be shaken. You're gonna yeah, sh <laughs> you're vibing, <Nope>. shaking, <laughs> jostling around behind the camera. Yes. Uh, <laughs> um. Yeah. So, uh, for those of you who don't know, we're in the process of completing uh the princess quest line, I guess, is, is a way to say this. So we discovered last time, that, and we've had a suspicion for a while, that the Princess Quest arcade cabinets have some hidden secret to it if you play through all of them. Uh, we confirmed that last time by glitching our way to a very strange ending uh, where Vanny got torn apart. I refreshed Matt on some of the deep lore that he's missed over the last year, two years, five years of theorizing about this franchise. How old is this franchise? Uh, six? I think it turned six this year. Okay. Was it six? So it's a first grader. Yeah. Uh huh. It's a little, a little tot. A little, little tot over here. Six, seven. It's it's a it's a while at this point, uh, and it's impressive to look back at how quickly the franchise is like scaled up and where it is now. It's it's amazing. Um, but yeah, so we are in the process of completing this to hopefully redeem or save Vanny, which I presume is going to give us one of the better endings. I don't think, and I don't know if this connects to Balloon Boy Glitch World, B Balloon Boy's Adventure, or the Monty Gator Golf stuff that we still haven't figured out, uh, and that I still have some theories that I want to test about. But at least this has given us a clear direction. We know what we're going to do. Um, so that's where we're at today, friends. Our goal is to get to that ending, Hopefully we get to it quickly and then we can start in on maybe something else, uh, you know, uh, finding more of those arcade cabinets or kind of wrapping this whole thing up. Because uh, it feels like we're nearing endgame here that we're finding some like final stuff around. Uh, so that is the State of the Union and without any further ado, let's, let's just hop into it. Um, so I, last time we ended on a jump scare, I've refreshed us to get us back to where we were. Uh, which is right in front of Princess Quest 2, just so you know. Uh, and you know that I did it because Matt obviously did not. <laughs> I, yeah, I don't have anything. I, I was going to say, I, I, I was waiting for the comeback <laughs> or just the acknowledgement of like, yeah, yeah, okay. No, I, I don't understand this game or map at all. <laughs> it's fine. Uh, okay, so this is Princess Quest 2. Like we expected, it does work now that we've beaten Cr Princess Quest 1. You are alive. That is good. Take the Sword of Light and go. Oh, she's got a sword now, so we can fight back. Um, oh, so this is brand new. I have not seen this. Uh, I alluded to this last time, but I have played through Princess Quest 1 because that was part of FNAF VR, so I was very familiar with that map. I do not know this or what we can do or the fact it's it's cool that we have a sword so we can fight back this time. Can you hit him? I, right? No. I was wondering the same thing, actually. He reminds me a bit of old man consequences just because he's an old man who's a red character sprite in a video game. Um, but who knows. So it's interesting that we've also gone from... Oh, hello. Can I fight you? Oh, I can. Okay. So it's interesting that we've gone from lighting lanterns, which was the first one, so it's a non-violent option, to a, a violent option here. So that's, that's particularly interesting. It's also... I think worth noting that we're fighting against the glitches, right? So in Princess Quest 1, so in Princess Quest 1, it ends with, it ends with you basically, it, it seems like you're getting taken over by Glitch Trap, right? I'm just gonna clear these guys out, because, actually, I'm, since I'm not seeing any lanterns, maybe it means we have to clear them out? I, I was just clearing them out to ease the path. 
but it seems like maybe that's the way to progress forward in Princess Quest 2 is to fight back against the glitches. We'll see. Um, oh, jeez, there's a lot of them. Good thing. Okay, glad I'm clearing them out. They're not too hard. Um, hey, 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 uncomfortable. Unco Ooh, hey, heart. Um, the other thing that I wonder about, and that's worth noting here, is... And I called this out last time. I don't think I'm going to have a chance to test it out. Maybe I'll test it out, like, off camera at some point once we're kind of... Oh, jeez. Once we're through our main playthrough. Um, hello. 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 Oh, oh, wow. Okay, it's good that they give hearts. Um, but one of the things I was wondering is you notice that there's some, like, color text or dialogue when you get... Jeez. Uh, when you get the, the bonus hearts, the hearts that extend your life. And it, she says stuff like, I feel weird, this is uncomfortable, all that. And so it makes me wonder if we need to beat all three of these without ever getting a heart. I don't know. Um, I feel like that would be pretty hard to do and we'd have to do a lot of runs at it. Okay, so we can't light torches and that was a shortcut, cool. Um, but that is something that I would like, as people continue to rip apart this game, as we continue to look for lore, things like that, that is definitely something that is, that is definitely something that I would want to look into. Because to me, that dialogue that she's dropping about, like, I feel weird, this is uncomfortable, whatever, uh, feels pretty darn suspicious and feels like, hey, maybe these parts aren't exactly what they seem. What is this feeling? See, like, for instance, the fact that every single one of the little glitch trap bunnies that we beat dro automatically drops a heart for us to refill. I could also see that being a thing where it's like, hey, um, you know, maybe the like again, it's alluding to the fact that it's alluding to the fact that we shouldn't be using the hearts or shouldn't be like relying too heavily on the hearts because they're coming from glitch trap. So again, he's infusing himself into us, maybe. Um, don't know, and I'm sure people have ripped apart the the game's files, so they have an idea. Hello, just hanging out. There. Um, so, we, so we just opened a door. Where are you? Where are you? Okay. There you go. But yeah, since this isn't that run, we'll just destroy all the glitches and play it kind of the way you would expect to play it. Uh, which is just kind of like going through it. But yeah. Uh, as people look for all the different routes, you know, hopefully I've done a good job of kind of leading you guys to other directions or considering things that are worth testing out just based on kind of what I've seen. I know I went this way, I just want to make sure it's all clear now that I know that there are lanterns involved. This is cool. I, lo I love how the 8-bit minigames have just become full-fledged games in their own right at this point in this franchise. <laughs> like, oh, we all know, we all know where the real lore comes from. It's not from the overworld, it's not from the gameplay, it's from the mini games. Okay, so there we go, nothing that interesting there. So we're back to here, we got the key, which opens there, but we haven't gone to the left, so I'm curious what's left. Hmm. Suspicious. All these random lights. Again, I also wonder if, as part of the like Heal Vanny quest, if destroying the glitches is like, I'm freeing your mind from the evil possession. That's kind of what I'm assuming. That's the assumption I'm working under here. This door is shut. Huh. I feel strange. Again, the fact that she feels strange as she collects more hearts makes it feel like she's succumbing to glitch trap. It's also odd to me that yet again, we're presented with a sealed stone door. So if you'll remember last time, that's weird. There's something blocking me from being able to walk into that corner. But I can walk everywhere else. Hmm. Then I can't glitch into it or anything. Or maybe not that way. Ooh, ooh. Oh, new mechanics. Oh, sweet. Oh, now we got some puzzle solving. Cool. Look at this. This is getting this is getting serious now. Like they they really went all out with this one. Uh, I, I'm excited to, hope, to hopefully see what uh, part three has in store for us. You know, 
provided that we survive phaser blast, right? Because that's kind of the thing that we're going to have to deal with. Or at least that's how we unlocked it last time. Okay, okay. Okay, hey, get out of here. Hey, Matt, I have a question for you. Hey, what's up? So, so one of the things that I loved as a kid mm -hmm. was going down on Christmas morning and like unwrapping a new video game and being able to just like hop in and play that all day or at least until like the family Christmas party later that day. Yeah. I know that you don't necessarily celebrate Christmas, but did you have any sort of like holiday traditions like that or like cuz like this this year actually I found myself in the middle of Five Nights at Freddy's yeah. and wanting to hey it's Christmas day, I want to go down, lock myself in my little game room, you know, and and oh, so we've done full circle. Interesting. Um and just play it. You know, that's that's what I was like really eager to do, and that's what I was missing. Like that childhood ability to just sit and play games all day, not have any, and it's like, oh, it's my new game, and how cool is that? Yeah. You ever have anything like that or no? Hmm. Probably. No, nothing comes to mind though. I like. I remember being able to do that with books uh -huh. as a kid, in a way that I can't now. Yeah. Like just like. I would get a new book, and then I would spend hours reading that book. Yeah. Like, turn brain off, enter book mode. Uh-huh, and you'd be there. Yeah. So maybe that's a similar thing? I think there were video games I had, too, that were like that. Yeah. Like, uh, Mario Super Sluggers. Yeah, so, I, oh, okay. I remember getting that for the GameCube and, and playing that, like, all day. Really? Mm-hmm. But as far as like holiday traditions, yeah. I mean, we would like every year on Christmas, we would get Chinese food and go see a movie. Uh huh. Ooh, I have a story about that. Oh yeah, please. Uh, so that's know, so that so that so that's a thing. That, yeah. Because yeah. I've always wondered if that's like a stereotype or. Oh no, that's a Jewish Christmas. Okay. Yeah, we you get Chinese food, and then you go see a movie. Okay. Um. So you know you're a kid and you see a kid's movie. Yeah. Because you're a kid and, and you're with your family and you see a kid's movie. Yeah. For some reason, I, like, needed one year to see Marley and Me. Okay. I was like, it's Christmas, there's a cute puppy, we have to go see Marley and Me. Yeah. I, I had no no prior understanding of that film. Right. Are you stuck on this puzzle? I'm just trying to figure out what it's asking me to do. Like, what am I supposed to, what am I supposed to match here? Am I supposed to... Because there's no world where I hit the light at the same time. Because I can't, like, it, this isn't one of those puzzles where it's like, you trap your shadow person, and then, like, the shadow person keeps walking. Like, that's a traditional gaming puzzle. Do you know what I'm supposed to do? No. Okay, cool. I, oh, no, I don't know what I really expected out of that question, so, you know. <laughs> what is this supposed to matter? Are they supposed to match? Or are they supposed to be mirror images of each other? Because all of these are already lit. Can I leave? Did that reset it at all? No, maybe. What am I supposed to do here? Sorry, tell me tell me about well tell me about Marley and me. Well anyways, cut to I'm nine. We yeah. finish the movie. We're going to get Chinese food. I'm crying so hard that <laughs> yep. we don't go and get food. That oh we no, go really? Immediately home. <laughs> <laughs> Marley and Me is a tearjerker, man. It's the Those, saddest movie I've ever seen. They don't do movies like that anymore, unfortunately. Yeah. Like the like sad. I, I guess maybe they did. I don't know. Dogs, dogs' purpose or whatever. Mm. I'm not sure. Yeah, they don't kill dogs in movies anymore. No, usually the dog finds a way to survive, which kind of ruins the stakes of the dog, you know? Yeah, the whole point is that the dog dies. Right, of course, if, you know, if the dog isn't dying. Why is that a genre of movie? I don't know, like, touching pet narratives. I can see touching pet narratives being, you know, being a thing that people would like to do. Yeah. So, we're gonna, we're gonna cut here while I figure out this puzzle, because it's gonna take me a while. All right, so uh, we're, we're back. It wasn't actually as hard as I thought. It just had to be a circle, which for some reason, 
I feel like I had, I had touched on or I had tried, but maybe not. So anyway, I lucked into it. I, play, I played around a little bit more. That was easy. Um, not nearly as hard as I was making it out to be. It is worth noting, and I'm just, you know, numbers and designs mean things in this game. It's weird to me that there are four purples, like four shadow creatures, or maybe three shadow creatures and six altogether around one central child. Um, because again, if, if these are the three important torches and these are three important torches, it's interesting to me that like, it's again, the number seven appears a lot in the FNAF VR and like glitch trap things. Um, in FNAF VR, there was a circle of, I think it was six graves around a central seventh grave. Um, so the number seven as like a number of victims tends to repeat a lot. It makes me wonder if, you know, and, and three shadow or dark characters, maybe it's, you know, like, Elizabeth, Mike, crying child as three Afton victims and, you know, maybe three good kids or something plus, plus whatever. I, spitballing, I don't know. But again, it's, it's a question I have. Congratulations, your quest is done. Time to go to sleep. No! Don't do it, old man consequences! Oh, this is interesting. Okay, so this is worth calling out. So, this is the opening room of Princess Quest 1, if you'll notice. So, in and this treasure chest was already opened. So, we start Princess Quest 1 in a bedroom, and you go out through the right door, and the left door is the one that was locked. So, it seems like we've come full circle somehow. Time to go to sleep. A double-edged sword. Wait, so we're in a security office, and that's FNAF 1? I saw the cupcake on the monitor. That was weird. So, was that FNAF 1 location? That's weird, man. I am so curious about that. Huh. So, she goes to sleep, which presumably means that... What? What is this? That's suspicious. No, that is real suspicious. What is that? Is that just a weird, that must be a weird coloring or texture thing, right? Or a weird lighting thing? There's no way, because that, that's just like a arbitrary random arcade cabinet, isn't it? It's weird that one side of it is lit up like that. The other side seems kind of normal. Huh. That is suspicious. I, th I think that must be a glitch. That must be. All right. Anyway. Um, but one thing that comes to mind, right, is... So her plush trap chaser is also glitching out. And we've been talking about glitching out. They keep bringing up glitching out the computers or glitching out the arcade cabinets. And that one's definitely purple. And it's definitely glitching. Plush trap chaser would be inspired by... Uh, the, the Fazbear Frights books, just so you know, because uh, Plush Trap Chaser is a thing in those books um, as an entity that kind of chases you around and tries to eat you. So, interesting stuff there. Huh. That was real suspicious. Ooh, low power. So, Freddy's going to boot us here in a second. So, let's make sure we're in a safe area. Hopefully. There's the security bot. Get past him. Okay. Wait! Wait, he jumps? Wait, Freddy jump scares you? If you're out of power? I thought he just, like, ejected you. Hold on! Hold the phone! No! 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 There's a... Mm, this whole time I haven't been using Freddy because I'm like, I can't afford to lose his power because if I lose him for the night, then I lose him for the night. You know, for the hour, I lose him for the hour. And then the chat's like, use, use Freddy, use Freddy. You can recharge him all the time. Great. I, and then the end of the game, I'm like, oh, we can recharge him all the time. Look at how useful he is. What an a-hole. Freddy is... And also that was, that was at no point really set up in the game, was it? It was always the night... Guard, the daytime guy would attack you. The 
daycare attendant would get you. Damn it! Ah! How, mm, he never said, I will jump scare you when I run. He's out of batteries! He's out of batteries! What's he jump scaring me with? He has no energy left! Oh! Balls! <laughs> You don't got any energy left, Freddy! Damn it. I'm sorry. I'm well, sorry, buddy. Th th thanks. Thanks, Matt. Thanks, yeah, Matt. Thanks. That's a bummer. That, that is a bummer! That's a huge bummer! I have to do those stupid things again! Yeah, all of them. All One and two. One and two, and we don't even know if we can get to three. And we need Faz Blasters. Whole, I mean, presumably. Unless we can just glitch through the whole thing again. It's gonna be a long day. It's, it's gonna be... <laughs> <laughs> Darn it! Uh, Freddy jump scares you, Matt. I thought he was just gonna boot me out at the end. Oh, I feel so lied to. You and me both. Right? Did, you didn't expect that, right? No, I would have told you if I knew that. Where did that? At no point is that ever. It's always the daycare attendant will get you, or I'm gonna run out of batteries at six a.m. I'm gonna run out of batteries at the top of the hour. At no point. At no point are they like, hey, I will automatically kill you and end your run. Damn it! Poop! 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 Darn. Uh, Alright, well. I'm getting real good at running through sections of this game again. Ah, uh, Alright, well. There we go, friends. We're back to it. You don't need to see this. This is all fluff. We're gonna fast forward again to the good parts. So we're back to this. Uh, Princess Quest 2, here's the glitch. So we get to see this again, which is fortunate. Um, it's unusual because this doesn't match the FNAF 1 layout. There's a vent to your left and a door to your right, even though it's a small security area. So I'm not 100% sure what exactly that's meant to be. Because um, looking at it closely, I'm like, oh, it appears to be FNAF 1. Because you have kind of that, like, you obviously have the fan. You, and you have a lot of the trappings of the FNAF 1 office, the cupcake hanging out there, the monitors right in front of you. But the fact that it seems like there's a vent to your left rather than another side door seems to suggest... Oh, oh, hello. <laughs> Where did you come from, Freddy? I came through the vent! I came through the ventilation shafts. Cool. Hey! Here's a pro tip for all of you gamers out there. Hey gamers, pro tip from your pal Matt Pat, resident FNAF expert. Uh, be careful when you use Freddy. If he hits zero battery life, he will jump scare you, thus ending your run. So take it from me, pro tip Matt Pat. You're not gonna want to do that. That you're gonna have a bad time if you're playing the game that way. So just be careful. He will jump scare you, and it will ruin your progress and kind of make you bummed out. So if you want to enjoy your FNAF experience. Make sure you're constantly aware of Freddy's declining battery life. Hey! Mu Music Man's out and about. I don't exactly know what that means. I mean, don't get me wrong, I am always very excited to see Music Man. Like, the fact that he's showing up, that's a win in my book. But I will say it is odd that he was hanging out in his little DJ pen earlier and now he's active. Strange. So! Two princess quests out the door. One step closer. Now we just gotta win Phaser Blast. Which was touch and go last time, I will say. So we'll see. Fingers crossed. We might even want to just skip to that unless we have an interesting conversation topic. Do you have an interesting conversation topic, Matt? Well, I did some research on the, the fish holiday that you were talking oh, about. Oh, yeah. So, okay, while, while I was catching up with things, I was talking to Matt just to recap on what we were talking about. So. I know that sometimes you guys feel bad if you, if you miss things, so... And usually we cut out stuff that isn't interesting or doesn't really go anywhere. Um, but apparently this one will. So, no, which is which is great. So, oh, sorry, I'm going to Fazer Blast, which is down. I had to think about that for a second. Um, okay, so to catch you guys up, I was talking about how Stephanie's... One of Stephanie's family traditions is the Feast of the Seven Fishes, uh, which is apparently an Italian tradition uh, in which on Christmas Eve you, throughout the course of the day, consume seven different types of fish. And I was telling Matt, because that reminded me of uh, you know, the Jewish tradition, go to, the Jewish Christmas of go to Chinese food. Um, for me and for us, it usually means Steph and I going to a sushi restaurant on Christmas Eve. 
uh, because sushi is the easiest way to knock out all seven of those fishes pretty quickly and easily. Uh, for Steph's dad, she will actually make a, or he, he will actually make a full on, you know, all day meal, you know, with a new fish rolling out every hour or so, uh, you know, like salted cod, he'll do a big uh, pasta dish full of different seafoods like uh, clams and, and um, you know, uh, mollusks and scallops and things. So it's kind of a big deal. Uh, but yeah, so that's ours. So, but I, I don't actually know the origins of it. I don't know really the significance of why. Seven I know is like a biblical number. Um, so I'm assuming it has to do with, uh, you know, something related to like uh, the Bible and, and Christmas, but I'm not sure. So Matt, enlighten me about the Feast of the Seven Fishes. Uh, so it's a uh, it's an Italian-American tradition. Okay. So I don't think it's done in Italy. Okay. Um, the celebration commemorates the wait for the midnight birth of the baby Jesus. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, the long tradition of eating... What, I don't know what fish have to do with that, you know. Well, I'm getting to it. Sure, okay. <laughs> the long Let me, can I take a guess? Yeah. Does it have to do with loaves and fishes? And the fact that, like, Jesus, one of his miracles was multiplying the fishes during the, uh, the Sermon on the Mount and all that? No. Okay, great. Well, I, you know what? I tried. And I'm proud of myself hey, for trying. listen. <laughs> You're doing great. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, bud. Um, the long tradition yes. of eating seafood on Christmas Eve dates from the Roman Catholic tradition of abstaining from eating meat on the eve of a feast day. Okay. As no meat or animal fat could be used on such days, observant Catholics would eat instead fish. Huh. Oh, yeah, because that, that makes sense, because fish Fridays during Lent. So Lent is one of those periods where you're waiting for Easter, and on Friday especially you're not supposed to eat meat, but you're allowed to eat fish. Oh. So, I, so that's why... That's why if you're ever like near McDonald's and there's like randomly like f deals on the filet of fish sandwich, that means that usually that means oh it's Lent season and they're oh. they're banking on people looking for their meat substitute and so they eat filet of fish. Wouldn't all McDonald's count as a meat substitute? Wow. Well now now you're talking. That's a, that's a food theory right there. What yeah, is the what is the? Wait. Wait what? They, they know I'm here. They, we didn't do this last time. I thought we had explored all of the. Fa <laughs> That's awesome. Wait, so we got a security pass? I, I don't want to take the security badge because. Oh, we have we can't get out now. What is going on? I this is I I swear last time we were in Faster Blast we had explored everything, but I guess we missed a door, and now what? I don't I, I and I know that when we t open up things, it tends to yield bad results because when we open up the security pass, it's gonna activate something or other. He said they're after you. Or I know he said they're after me, so it means we're gonna be playing some FNAF or something. Oh, weird. I mean, everything looks normal, but we haven't taken the pass yet. Wait. Oh, hold up, hold up. Let's out of curiosity. So this is the. Oh, there's the vent. The vent is closed. So the vent is currently closed. This. Is, oh no. No, it isn't. It's open. So this the vent to the secret area that we glitched into is currently open. So good to know. I guess we're taking the security badge and we're upgrading our security status. No, no. So, yep, so, yep, I do know how this works. So I'm level six now? Seven? And they said, get out of there. They know you're here. Who, though? Oh, now there's bots there. But is there anyone who can jump scare me? Weird, weird. I guess we missed this room last time. Oh, crazy. I'm just gonna go here. Wow, all sorts of new stuff. Recruits in from the looks of you, the orange slash blue team hasn't. Okay, he's gonna tell us the rules, which is no running, but that's actually a lie. Part of me wants to flash him just to see what his response will be. Part of me is afraid that if I flash him, he will jump scare us. So we're not doing that. Switch items, okay. We need to grab it, help, and has blaster. Okay, here we go. So we've got to win. 
So we gotta watch out for Chica again. Let's do this. We have a better idea of where things are, and also we know the red zone was actually a good place to wait because we were not surrounded. Like, all the other areas, it seems like there's multiple points of entry where people can attack us. The last one, the red zone, we had that nice corner that we could tuck into and hit things from, so I think that's what we're going to aim for. I'm kind of nervous. I really don't want to lose, because that would be a decent amount of progress lost. And again, you know, this is a game that forces you to get through it all without saving, so we're going to do it. All right, let's Bazzer Blast. I think we start high. I think, I think our progression was good. I think starting high and then working our way down is a smart way to do it. This is also the one where you stand to probably lose the most health. You have captured the flag. Wow, that guy is so aggressive already. God. Oh my gosh, there's... Whoa, hey, guys! Can I get, can I get a health refill here? Woo! That was intense. That guy was going crazy. He was going ham, man. He was like, this is my moment. No one's taking this victory away from me. There's always one guy in the laser tag that takes it way too seriously. Right. Okay, where's Chica? She saw us. Presumably she has to come up this... Okay, there she is. Okay. I don't love the fact that she's close. Oh, there she is. There she is. She, but she is. Okay. No. She's, she's on the loose. I don't love that. Don't love it. You can also shoot Chica with the gun. That requires me to have faith in my abilities with this gun. This is true. So, the flashing seems to work well for me. The nice. And also, I don't want to waste a lot of stuff on her when this... Okay, so she's out and about. I'm just going to sneak. Just gonna sneak and sneak and sneak and sneak. We know we need to get to the red corner. Where's she at? Where's she at? She's somewhere. I hear her heavy footsteps. Where's she at? This is so tense. Nope. I also don't, tr like, I'd rather flash her and then run and hide than just hide. Because she has a good, she has a good ability to find us. Here she is. I, 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 I'm just taking my time. This is too much. Too, too much progress to lose. Okay. I do not want candy. No one wants candy, Chica. Keep your candy away. One. This one's for Stewie. 
I don't know who Stewie is, but it's for him. Okay, we've won Flip Fazer Blast. So. I'm assuming. I'm assuming she's still active. Unless she, they've, um, unless they've gotten rid of her. I don't know why I collected that, but again, try hard and me wanted to collect it. So we learned last time that the winner's elevator was where again? It was, where was that winner's elevator? It was, oh, no, oh, oh, I remember. We had to, it, the, the problem that we had finding it wasn't actually where it was. It was having to return the blaster, at which point well we did this. Done, superstar. You won the Fazer Blaster. Now, go collect your prize from the Superstar Lounge. Okay, collect our prize from Superstar Lounge. But, we don't have to do that. We can go through the vent, because all we need is Princess Quest. Three. And I think then that'll lead us to, so we th that should complete our little trilogy. I wonder if when you take the gun. If it shuts. Yes. Right? I wonder that too. So we shouldn't take the gun. We should just do this, right? If we're aiming for Princess Quest, yeah. I think we just do this. Why, why chance it? We know that this sequence worked before. I think we just go for it. This, this was the whole security stuff. I'm surprised that Vanny isn't around to like defend this at all. Freddy, Here we go. That rabbit lady's in a secret room above Fazer Blast. Yep. It looks like a hideout. I think her name is Fanny. Fanny? Fanny. <laughs> Very similar to Vanessa Bunny. To Vanessa. What? And also <laughs> it all comes together. That cannot be a coincidence. Great. Again. Yeah, you're definitely cheating. Yeah, I've I've definitely cheated at this point. Why, do you want me to do it the normal way and risk no. losing all our progress? I just, I'm proud of us. Gregory, right? I know, good for us. Good for I us. I still have a signal. Get to the Fazer Blast booth. Use the security desk. Okay. Turn them against Fanny. See, so this is an interesting moment, right? So f this is Freddy, and I don't know if this is him acting maliciously or him, like, he's being kind of sketch right there. Turn him against Vanny. You know, he's, he's, it's not a nice thing for, for old Freds to do. So if we press this button, we get the bad ending. This now should be active. Princess Quest 3. It is awesome. Awesome. Let's do it. Princess Quest. Ooh, and we're start. Oh, so we're starting off in the office. Interesting. Okay, so this gives us a good sense of what we're dealing with. It looks like a vent. This is a window, obviously. What office setting does this remind me of? Oh! No! Is this FNAF 6? I think this is FNAF 6's layout. Um, cause FNAF 6... It definitely had a vent to your left. Did it have a door to your right? Or did it have another vent? This... Might be FNAF 6's layout. I need to refresh myself on what FNAF 6 looked like. Oh, weird, and so now, oh, cool. So now we're actually exploring the pizzeria. Or one of them. Oh, wacky, wacky, wacky. Oh, and, oh, hello. Wow, all right, they're, they're, they're aggressive now. Interesting, interesting, oh, cool. What? Oh, that's a chest. I'm like, is that a sacrificial? Ooh, hello. So it burns me. So don't want to touch that yet. So it's a burning chest so far. Cool, cool, cool. There's the burning chest. So presumably we need to do some, hello, hello. Ooh, whoa. And we unlock the show stage. But there's another one down here. Oh, hello, Foxy. 
wait, this is... This is the maze. This is the Dreadbear maze from Curse of Dreadbear. The, the hay maze? With Grim Foxy? What? What is going on? Oh, this is wild. I will say, being able to see everything in the maze is helpful. Okay, so in FNAF VR, in the Grim Foxy maze, which is a really big, elaborate hay maze, uh, you find at the center of it the purple, or after doing a, an incredible, incredibly difficult series of events, you unlock the purple glitched key, which unlocks a secret basement, which then, hey bud, okay, there he is, great, which then you unlock that secret glitched basement, which then gives you the Vanny mask. So I'm assuming this is kind of taking us through Vanny's origin story here. So it's showing us that whole process of getting the Vanny mask and all that. Um, okay. Hey, bud. Okay. I cannot. I cannot. And even even Foxy's glowing, which is again like what Grim. Great. You just stay over there. I'll take the long way. It's fine. I don't. It's, you do. You do. You, bud. I'm not. I'm not here to tell you how to do your job today. So you just. You just live your best life, and I'm just gonna take the long way around. Thank you very much. Um, so yeah, this seems to be a direct recruit. Are you kidding me? Okay, come on, dude. Okay, maybe I am here to tell you how to do your job today. Hey, hey. Okay, lure him away, lure him away, lure him away. Don't get caught. Great. You just, you just rest. Just rest your legs. There you go. Just take a break. Take a break. Cool. Something is not right. Okay, so we have the Vanny mask. Great. So, with the Vanny mask, we can summon. Okay, so it's not the purple key. So we're getting the Vanny mask from the center of the maze, which makes sense. We knew that that was a thing. Anything else interesting around here on the periphery? Because again, it's FNAF. They could hide stuff in the parts of the game that you don't expect them to hide stuff into. Hello, got an extra heart, how nice. The hearts, I feel like the hearts must mean something. Like why else would they hide a heart there? That's so arbitrary, unless the hearts are important in some way. It feels like the hearts might matter. So like, did we, did we follow the proper steps to free her? I'm not sure. But the fact that like, hearts are hidden in weird locations, the fact that she has that weird text every time she gets a heart feels like it, I mean, it could just, I, I could be overthinking it. But also, nope, oh, we need two. I see there's two, there's one green and then there's another green on the other side, okay. Ooh, hello. Hello. I don't trust you, conveyor belt. What are you going to, whoa! What is that? Who is that boy? Oh no! We got we got a, a new contender here. What is he? Okay, we can run up it, so that's good if we need to run away. Okay, get out of here. What is that thing? Is that Balloon Boy? Is that the moon? Weird. I mean, it purple eyes. It has the texture of like a moon, right? Are you and why are you looking into like is this dollhouse size is this a real thing oh hello so those guys move now so that's cool 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 it's fine we're all good we're all good nothing down here nothing down here I'm still looking for the mask or I'm, I've still got the mask I mean looking for the other green which is presumably over here what is that is that balloon boy that's so bizarre so this is taking us on a little ride. We can go up against this one. Ha! Huh. Oh, that just stopped everything. Didn't really make that much of a difference, though. Because I can still run against the curb. Okay, so we got... Oh, this is another shadow one. So we're going to have another shadow character. OK, 
Okay, so she's presumably going to need to run on, okay. Can I reset the, can I reset them? Can I reset them? Maybe not. Maybe not. And apparently I don't need to hit him at the same time, so. <laughs> what? <laughs> what a weird puzzle. It's like, hey, you're gonna need to put your shadow character on a conveyor belt, maybe, but not really. Weird. Oh! Oh, that's odd. Okay, so that is the... So after you uh, collect all the things in FNAF VR, you collect this yellow... Or sorry, this green glowy bunny character, right? Uh, it's basically thought to be like the remnant of Glitch Trap, or like it's after Glitch Trap has left the game. So you assemble all the tapes, you put them all together, and Glitch Trap locks you in a cage at the end of that game, and he waves goodbye, and everyone's like, that was a weird ending, what did that mean? And we ultimately came to the conclusion or a theory that it was, you were meant to lose the game, right? That That is you collecting the tapes, assembling Glitch Trap, you've brought him to life, and now he has hijacked your body to go out into the world and, and wreak havoc, mayhem, whatever. Um, and then, in his stead, he leaves this doll. He leaves this this character, this stuffed animal. So the fact that we're getting the mask and the stuffed animal again seems to suggest to me, and I'm not sure, but if our goal here is to free Vanny, right? I'm assuming we're gonna put Glitch Trap back into the back into the, the character, right? It's gonna put him back where he belongs, back into the mask. That's my assumption of what is happening. But again, I don't know. But as we go through this. It's just something that comes to mind. Uh, before I, we do the final step here, which is I'm assuming what is going to happen, and we finish this minigame, I just want to make sure that nothing changed, because again, like, all these games are about, like, something changed in a place that you didn't, you decide not to revisit. Strange key. Wonder what this opens. And it's going to open, obviously, the main stage here. Oh, which leads... Oh, hello. Oh, hi. Hi. Didn't expect him. Leads us back to the cave, obviously. Get out of here. Interesting. So there's pictures on the wall. So it's like a weird fusion of like a pizzeria and the like fantasy cave that we were fighting through before, it looks like. Or like some hybrid of like this old fantasy world. Oh, I'm noticing that there's tiles here. I don't know if, you notice the line? I don't know if that means it's gonna like open up or something. Oh, oh, okay. So this is the door. So this is representative of the door that uh, Vanny was trapped behind or that Glitch Trap locked us with. So now what? Do we see? Are you having fun yet? Oh, this is an ending. Error. Error. Okay, so... All the bots, okay. Everyone's, okay, so no one's evil anymore. That's cool. So we've healed Vanny? Take one of my many satchels of emails with Freddy's head inside. Go on, superstar. Okay. And Vanny's out. Three stars. Three stars. That means good. That means good job, Matt. A plus. Huh. <laughs> Freddy's head's in a bag for reasons. I didn't call this out last time when we got the Destroy Vanny ending. The fact that, again, like, I don't know if we did it out of order or if it was, if there was something that led up to that moment, but the fact that, like, Freddy was just wrecked on the ground made no sense. Yeah. Um, I'm like, why is Freddy destroyed on the ground and why are we saying goodbye to him? And again, 
why is why why am I dealing with a Freddy head? I think it's like you like took him with you as a souvenir. Well, well isn't it? No, oh, let me yank off your get in my bag, buddy. He had the ability to speak. He, he had the like sentient. He he was also like you can't leave because I'm gonna die in an hour. Like after an hour, my battery is gonna run out. So maybe if it's just his head, his battery will last like. Two hours. He brought a charger. He brought, right? I was gonna say, just use a portable charger, man. USB-C compatible. <laughs> um, okay, so that seems very much tied to FNAF VR, uh, which is interesting. So we have unlocked, so by doing the Princess Quest mini games, we saw the descent of Vanny getting subsumed by Glitch Trap. We then see her fighting back, or we help her to fight back, and at the very end, she seems to be in the FNAF 6 pizzeria. I need to double check that layout. I'm assuming that's FNAF 6 pizzeria, though. She's in FNAF 6 pizzeria, and then, oh, unless, no, because if it was FNAF VR, no. But then she, ultimately, we help her to unlock the door, which frees her mind. So I guess the kidnapping stop? If, if the whole thing was like, solve the mystery of Annie, you know, there's more here than meets the eye. It sounds like we did that, right? We, we saved her soul. We got three stars, which is better than any of the other endings that we've gotten. So that says like, hey, you got the best ending, I guess. Um, or a best ending. Weird. It's weird that it's not connected at all to all the other missions that the game has. Like, it's, it's, it's a secret thing. It's, it's hidden in the emails. Huh. So, I, hey, pat on the back for us. We definitely called the theory. Huzzah, we won. Um, you know, it was our plan the whole time to say, like, we've been calling that one for two years that Vanny was going to be redeemed and that there'd be multiple endings and one was where you would redeem Vanny. So we've done that. Does that mean Glitchtrap is vanquished then? Did we vanquish him? Is he dissipated? I guess so. Aww. And we're eating our ice cream with our Freddy head. <laughs> with our Freddy head. Cool. All right. So what happens if I hop back in? Just out of curiosity. I, I, I'm assuming it didn't change anything, right? It's, it's go back. Gregory, you have a choice to make. The door is open and yeah, it's just... you can go. Or you can continue to investigate the secrets of the pizza plex. I feel there is something oh. else going on besides Vanny. I feel there's something else going on besides Vanny. So there is more, which I think leads to us actually doing Phaser Blast. And actually, again, we still haven't taken out Chica and unlocked her voice box or whatever. So it seems like there is still more to be had. But we've solved the Vanny mystery, at least. And we've, we've freed her. Uh, a couple things that come to mind. The hill that they keep showing us sitting on, uh, that feels like a uh, FNAF... Six ending reference, uh, the, the, the grave hill, the kind of like peaceful ending hill. Um, if, so I have a theory, it's coming out this weekend, uh, I've had it, it's, it's not one that's actually dependent on the endings, although the endings might suggest more, of, more evidence to it, so I might need to record some pickups for it, but as I see this, ending. I, I've had a theory, and you've heard me talking about it the whole time. Like, I don't trust Gregory. I feel like some specials with Gregory. I really firmly believe that Gregory is a robot. I really strongly think that he is the crying child rebuilt in robotic form, but reincarnated, right? That's, robotic humans are a thing in this franchise. He, he His design perfectly matches the crying child. It feels pretty one-to-one, -one, right? Um, And so, seeing the three of them together feels important. It feels intentional. It feels like if he's the crying child, it would mean that Freddy is Mike as the bigger brother who's protecting you. And it would mean that Vanny is the sister it would be Elizabeth. So Vanny would be like either, maybe maybe not actually Elizabeth. Like, I don't know if this is real, if this is symbolic, if this is just a reference, but seeing the three of them on that hill together 
could just be like, hey, we're the three main characters of this story, so huzzah for us. But it could also be like, hey, this is the family reunited, where it's Michael, crying child, and Elizabeth, the children of the Aftons, who were victims of the evil William Afton, the purple guy. And so, you know, this is, they have redeemed themselves, they're okay, they're reunited in whatever weird way they've been through this franchise. Uh, and so it's a happy ending for these characters, these children, who are ultimately, like, devastated and ruined by, and killed, you know, multiple of them dead, uh, by their f father's actions, right? And so this is their their kind of redemption, this is their happy ending. It's their happiest day. Hmm. I don't know if there, I, I need to look to see if there's enough evidence to support Freddie being Michael, as well as Vanny being Elizabeth. I need to check her eye color and all that stuff. Um, but I, I like that theory. I, like, just from a narrative standpoint and from, like, a what is the arc of this whole thing, that feels right to me. That, that feels what they're going for. I just need to find the stuff to, to further support that. But that feels, what the, that is what that ending is trying to tell me, I think. Hmm. Interesting. All right. Well, uh, I'm assuming that's probably about time, right? I know that we spent a bit longer, but there's also going to be cuts. I don't know. Do we keep it focused? We keep it focused. Yeah, I think we still I think we, this, this feels like a pretty solid ending. Mm -hmm. um, so there you have it, friends. That is the Vanny redeemed ending, the three-star ending. So that's good. Um, there's still... Here, real quick. So we got Bonnie Bowl through the Fazer Blast stuff. That's interesting. We got a higher security through the Fazer Blast stuff, so that's interesting. There's definitely some interesting stuff there. Um, I'm assuming I'm still back at security level five, yeah, so I'd have to get it all again. But, we haven't decommissioned Chica. We did Fazer Blast, so those are kind of our two outstanding. And again, we still haven't officially gotten the Fazer Blaster to test out the balloon code and things like that that I had on here, so still some interesting stuff. It feels like ends are tying up, though. Interesting. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. That'll be maybe one more of these, and we'll see where we kind of land at that point. But it feels like we're kind of wrapping things up, which is cool. You know, and it's, I need to get to theorizing anyway, and you can see I've already been working on theories. Uh, I might add to the one that's coming up this weekend, though, after seeing this ending. So uh, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for sticking around, uh, even though we're, you know, still doing this game after a couple weeks and everyone else is done. So we'll see you in the next video. And as always, remember, it wasn't a live stream, but it was a video, a video for you. See ya!